bottom lip off. So now him and Nika, they fighting. So um, why are they doing all the fighting? She's um, Chucky pushed her over the banister. And now he's going to tell the story of why he's doing all this killing. So how Nika became in a wheelchair, they went back, Charles Lee Ray. So I'm guessing they went back because he had that fucked up ass candy man gray jacket on. They telling the story. Tell of um Sarah, the mother, she was pregnant. I guess she was pregnant with Nika. So anywho, Sarah was setting them up, and they showed the scene when um the cops came and he ran. As everybody know, um in part one, it just came on when Charles Lee Ray was running. So they they he's telling why the way why he was running towards the thing. So he did all that. He say telling her how he got into the dog, whatever. <clears throat> And he tell her how he killed the Barclays, he messed up the Tilly family, and et cetera. And now he here to kill them. Because Nika mother, Sarah, got him killed. Well, not really. So, Nika telling, she, she's listening and she kind of like fucked up Chucky Ego. She said, oh, so that's why you couldn't kill Andy. He said, well, I didn't kill Andy. I kind of um, killed his childhood. And she was like really fucking up his ego, pissing him off and telling him that, well, why it take you 25 years to kill us and all that bullshit. And now he pissed because she just stroked his ego a little bit and he didn't like it. So, long story short, they did all the killing. Chucky did all the killing. They both fighting back again. And, and it's fucked up because the cops came. Chucky didn't kill her. He's sitting in a rocking chair. And, then, and I guess the cop was looking at her. And I guess Nigga told him the story. He wasn't buying it. Now they in court and they sent us to this crazy house like they did um, Andy Mother. For the record, why would they put Andy Mother in a crazy home if it was two damn cops there? I don't know. It's just me. So, she's wind, she, she wound up in a crazy house. Chucky finally succeeded, I thought, with the uh, seance chant with Alice. And I guess that was the end. And then it was a cameo. They had two cameos, by the way. They had Jennifer Tilly doing her thing. And after she did her thing, because she was, I guess she was the one delivering the packages to um, people. So, after the credits, it was a surprising guess. It was another cameo. And I have to say, I think that was the best ending. That was the most by far best damn ending I ever saw. I think that should have. I think my opinion they should have had that ending instead of the other, the other uh, ending. So that is um, Curse of Chucky. Scale one to ten, I give it a nine and a half. Why? Because two things: one, the Power Ranger flip, and two, he had, you know. The face that I didn't like. He he didn't have the original face. He he did at first, but anywho, the plot was good. The storyboard, the acting with certain people. Fiona, she I think she was by far the best actress in the movie. She did her thing, and of course Brad Dorf, etc. So yeah, Curse of Chucky was good. Um, I give it uh, I give it one to ten. Like I say, nine and a half and. Out of five stars, I give it four and a half stars. It was real good. Um, they took it back to his horror roots. It wasn't comedy like Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky. But yeah, um, in my opinion, they should have put this movie in theaters. But it don't matter. I seen it. It was good. Peace.